so I'm over it. I, I just can't, I, I really cannot. That's never happened before. This is MTV's Ghosted. My name is Mariah, and I have a situation in which I think you two can help me out with. So I was dating this guy named James for almost a year. We started off as coworkers, then we became friends, but we decided to take things more seriously. And then out of nowhere, he disappears. No explanation, no reasoning, no nothing. That's already a big no-no, Rachel. What? Which part? You don't date coworkers. I think, look, she just called us, so I'm gonna add her in right now, okay? Okay, great. Hey. Hi, Raya. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing okay, you know, considering everything going on in the world right now. <laughs> First of all, where did you and James work together? So, summer of 2017. I was living in Virginia Beach at the time, um, and I started working at the Cheesecake Factory, and he was just a server there at the time. You know, I think we just, you know, started off as co-workers. As time progressed, our connection just started to build. At the time, I was in a relationship with somebody. It was not a good relationship. I entertained it longer than I should have. It was a little hectic, um, you know. When did that end? And then when did James begin? Was there any overlap? So, not gonna lie, there was a little overlap. Should have been honestly done way before even meeting James but it was definitely James that came to me and was like, so if this is gonna be a thing, that can't be a thing. And then how long are you dating before the actual ghosting? My birthday's in January, so I remember James and I started really hooking up January 2019, so then it was up until December. So yeah, almost a year. A year is a long time. I thought it was a bond that was, you know, unbreakable. We, we had conversations about even moving in together. All right, so tell us about the ghosting. So it was December 2019. He had come over after work. I remember we were sitting there on the couch, you know, watching TV, normal night, you know, cuddled up. Um, and he had leaned over to me and was like, yeah, actually, I'm going to go home. So we both worked the next morning. I ended up going into work. Um, however, James was not there. I'm thinking, oh, maybe he just overslept, you know, or something. I think like an hour or so into the shift, I had realized he had called out. So now I'm like, okay, I'm thinking something is really, really wrong. So I send him a couple more texts, you know, trying to figure out what's going on. No response, no nothing. I text him again. However, the messages now aren't delivering. And then I ended up trying to go on Instagram to message him, nothing. I was blocked on Instagram. I couldn't get in contact with him. Then didn't show up for the rest of the week. And then he ended up quitting. And so I don't know what happened. I really don't. We're going to get to work and we will, we will let you know what we find out. And if we have any questions, we'll definitely hit you up. Yeah, no, of course. Thank you guys so much. OK. We don't have a lot to go with, Travis. So our timeline. Mariah and James become friends in 2017. They're working together at Cheesecake Factory. Over time, the two of them grow closer, all while Mariah is dating someone else. Then, in January of 2019, they realize they're more than friends. James gives her an ultimatum. He says, cut things off with your boyfriend. She's like, damn, I really have feelings for James. So she breaks it off, starts dating James. They mm -hmm. date until December of 2019 which is when she gets ghosted. Let's look at this guy's Instagram. He doesn't really post that much. So we really have oh. nothing to go off of. Let's message him. Hey, James. It's Travis and Rachel. We're doing a show about ghosting and wanted to chat. Let us know if you're available. All right, sent. So here's my first theory. She got ghosted in December. He didn't want to buy the gifts. Travis. Christmas was coming up, and then a birthday right after January 20th. It's not even so a month cheap. apart. So he's cheap. Double the gifts. This dude, he was stressed out, didn't want to spend the money. So he quits and... his job? Rachel. Another theory? The ex. We got to throw her ex in there. Yeah, I was saying the same thing. You know, it could be a situation where the ex reaches out to James in private and is like, yo, I'm going to come down there because you stole my girl from me and she cheated on me with you. He ghosts. 
I think that that might be a thing. We've contacted two mutual friends of Mariah and James from work. Deja Sent. and Lizzie. I sent her the link. Great. In hopes of finding some answers. Lizzie is typing. Whoa, that's a fun. Huge fan of the show and of you, Travis. Haha. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Travis. Chat out for a minute. Do you want to go freshen up a bit before we, we give her the Zoom link? Hey, I'm good. I'm good to go. <laughs> um, I'm oh, thank you, Lizzie. Meet us here. What's up, Deja? How are you? How are you? Hi, Deja. I'm doing good. Hi. Hey y'all, we got we got another person joining the Zoom. We got Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Hey, hey, Elizabeth. Hi. Hey Boo. Was it surprising for you guys to find out that he just ghosted Mariah? Oh yeah, hello. You see Mariah, right? Okay. okay. Yeah. So I think very surprising that he ghosted her because she's obviously beautiful. I love her as a person. Did they ever fight in front of y'all? No. I've never really seen James in a um, angry kind of manner. Like, right. really. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have anyone else that we should talk to that might have an insight into this situation? Um, there's this girl, Jess. Have you guys talked to her? No. Did Jess work at Cheesecake Factory as well? Yes. yes. She has a baker, um, and she has worked there for a while. I feel like Jess knows him longer. Okay. Well, ladies, thank you so much for hopping on with us. I mean, look, I think that we got a new name out of that as well, right? We got to talk to this girl, Jess. All right. Jess just accepted us. Yes. All right, so let me send her our Zoom link. Boom. You know what's crazy, though? James saw our message. Yes. Yes. Didn't bother responding, but he knows that we're looking for him. Hello. What's up, Jess? How are you? Good, how are you? Doing well. So, we need to find you on Instagram from Deja and Lizzie. I guess we're just a little stuck in trying to figure out because you all seem to be mutual friends and run within the same circle, but nobody can tell us why James ghosted Mariah. I think he was, I think he had his eyes elsewhere. Elsewhere on a specific person? Yes, there was a girl, Annie, at Cheesecake Factory who he had interest in, but that was more so before Mariah and him were more so exclusive. So James and Annie had something going on before Mariah. Yes, but I don't know if it ever went past speaking until after him and Mariah were done. Do you know if James and Annie are dating right now? I know that he keeps posting things with her. Where? Where is he posting these things? I follow him on Snapchat, and I know that he posted something of her. Do you have the Snapchat? Yeah. That is from today. Well, thank you for sharing that information with us. <laughs> yeah. AKA receipts. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, thank you, Jess. Yeah, absolutely. Let me know if you guys need anything else. Okay, we will. You have a great day. You as well. Travis, new theory here. Annie. Oh, Annie, I'm all over it. I already requested her. I think we got to text Mariah, tell her to hop back in here. And, you know, we got to ask her what she knows about Annie. Mm, this is the part of the job I hate. Mariah. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing okay. Good. We've been doing some digging, so I'm just gonna start from the beginning because we've had a full day. We hit up Jess, Deja, and Lizzie. After talking with Jess, she mentioned something that blindsided Rachel and I, and she mentioned this girl named Annie. Oh. Are you familiar with Annie? Um, I mean, Annie works with us too. She's kind of come along with our friend group sometimes, but I mean, I would, classify her more as just like kind of like a co-worker. What about her history with James? Um, I mean, I know that, you know, they've been friends, but I mean, as far as like a history, I really don't know. I don't think that they, I mean, I don't think that they have history. Um, I want to show you something, but that was posted on James's Snapchat yesterday. You can confirm that that's Annie in the photo, correct? Yeah, that's definitely her. We haven't been able to talk to James about this yet. We sent him a message. 
He saw the message. He, he hasn't responded. I'll try to stay positive. <laughs> Have a good day. You Bye. Too. I want to log into our Instagram and look at that. Whoa. Hey, sure. Call me. All right. I'm going to call James right now. Here we go. Hey, James? Hello? Hey. Hey, who is it? Hi, this is Rachel and Travis. We sent you the message. We were contacted by Mariah. My ex-girlfriend Mariah? Yes, your ex-girlfriend Mariah. And she let us know that you guys worked together and had been friends for a year before you started dating. And then a year into your relationship, you ghosted her, basically. So we just wanted to reach out to you and get your side of the story. Um, I mean, I, I, I guess we could talk about it. I think she did some stuff that I prefer not to really go into that right now. James, do you feel comfortable hopping on a call with, with Mariah later today? Um, uh, I mean, yeah, I, can, I guess I could do that. Cool, so, I mean, if 4 p.m. works for you, we can send you a link and, and you can meet us on a call at, at, at 4 p.m. Yeah, that, that's fine. I'm not doing anything at all. Appreciate it, we'll talk to you later today. All right, I'll be looking for the link. Okay, Thanks, bye James. Yo, he sounds like a super nice guy. Scratch every single theory. Very, very just respectful to like, hey, this is something that happened between me and Mariah. I don't feel comfortable kind of telling everyone about it. It's something that makes him uncomfortable to talk about. I think it's sexual. Let's get Mariah in here. Yeah. And then I'm going to get James in here. I'm, I'm nervous for Mariah. Oh, she's here. I'm going to let her in. What's up, Mariah? Hi. How you feeling? Um, my heart is beating like 1,000 miles per minute. <laughs> He's willing to get on a call and tell you the reason why he ghosted you. He didn't feel comfortable telling Rachel and I. All he would say is that it was something you did. All right. Deep breath. You ready to confront your ghost? <sighs> I think I'm ready. All right, I'm going to let him in. Is he coming? What's up, James? Man? What's going on, man? Not James. Not much. What's going on? Uh, Rachel and I brought you both together today to hear each other out, and I feel like it's it's extremely important to get some closure. So Rachel and I are going to turn off our video, so it's just you two in the room. All right. Hmm. Well, hello. What's up, what's up? I honestly don't even know where to start. Even before we were in a relationship, we were friends. And the conversations that we used to have, we used to stay up till four or five in the morning, talking about things that, you know, we wouldn't share with anybody else. So I guess it's just kind of confusing to me and I don't really understand why you couldn't come and talk to me. And, you know, maybe we could have found out a solution, but you chose to just disappear. Rachel and Travis have brought new information to me and I it looks like I don't know you were with Annie yesterday. I don't know is was that something that was, you know, happening during her relationship? At this point I just have so many questions. I mean, I, I totally feel you. Um I wanna start by saying like I definitely do understand where you're coming from. Like I know it was kinda messed up on my end to just kinda cut things off. Part of the reason that this kinda ended the way that it did is because I was just kinda trying to, I guess save save you you hardship and pain from you know the reasons that i have for acting the way that i did sorry you don't think that would have caused me more pain though like not telling me anything i in hindsight it probably did i understand that now like not giving you any reason and just kind of cutting you off out of nowhere when you thought everything was good i will say it had nothing to do with me hanging out with annie yesterday or anything like that like what was it like i'm confused if these it's so, not all these things so the real reason that I actually ghosted you was that I think that I so um 
you constantly were just comparing our relationship to your exes. And then it eventually got to the point where you were comparing us to each other in the bedroom. And that was kind of where I really just drew the line and, and decided that, you know, obviously that I wasn't good enough for you. And I was also a little bit embarrassed about that. And that was kind of the last straw. Uh, okay. Um, but I mean, I guess... You don't remember that? Not, not, I mean, no, like... You basically said that I didn't make you finish how your ex did. Like, as a man, that is like the biggest, biggest punch in the mouth for me. That's kind of like the most depressing thing that a guy could hear. So from that standpoint, once I heard that, it, it was just kind of game over for me. And that's kind of what led me ultimately just cutting you off because I really had nothing left to say. Yeah, I mean, I guess I will, you know, take some, you know, responsibility, you know, I guess, you know, that really wasn't right of me. Um, I guess it was kind of hard for me not to because, you know, a relationship is something that I want. I always, you know, I want to be in a relationship and therefore I wanted, you know, relationship type things, you know, I guess maybe I just didn't go about it the right way. Guys, we're going to give you guys a break. Obviously you just both shared a lot. Let me just start off by saying my profession, my trade is a lawyer. And I was watching you talk and I was like, you're not being matter of fact in your reason as to why you ghosted. It seems like there's more to the story. I mean, I thought Annie was your girlfriend and she was pregnant. No, there was actually more to it um, than just, you know, the comments. I mean, look, I can tell you from a guy's perspective, if somebody said that to me, like in the bedroom, <laughs> I would be absolutely crushed. I do think you owe it to her to be honest with the real reason that you ghosted. That's true. I got I got nervous there. I got a little bit of cold feet. I That's just okay. like it's it's a kind of a nerve wracking thing. I definitely agree, and I I really do want to tell her. Like I do, I, out of respect, I do think that I owe it to her. All right, what's up, guys? Um, I'm gonna give James the floor, and Travis and I are gonna back out for a second. Okay. So, Mariah, there's actually a little bit more to the story than I kind of put on. After talking with Rachel, I felt that it would be just best out of respect to come, come clean with everything. So, I was actually cheating on you and seeing other girls and stepping out on you towards the end of our relationship. <laughs> so crazy. And I just, I just wanted you to know that, like, there was actually, like, a solid reason why, so. That is crazy. <laughs> crazy, 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 crazy. I I just think Gosh, so are you with Annie? Like, is that a thing? Y'all are a thing now? It's not it's not Annie. Okay. There, there's other girls. I don't wanna name their names. <laughs> girls. I don't wanna name their names because you you know them, so I'm gonna keep them under wraps. But I just felt that you deserve to know that it, you were not the only one towards the end of the relationship. I... James, is that is that why you quit your job? Yeah, they they do work at Cheesecake Factory. Oh, and was that a convenience for you too? Like that is so foul. Why? Like again, we were cool as friends. Like we were. I wanted you know to hook up with you because you're an attractive girl. So I kind of did what I needed to do in order to kind of get. I feel like it's such a typical guy thing. You are sitting there and gonna blame me for why you ghosted me, you know? And that's so childish. And I fell for it. I fell for it. That's, I literally must have stupid written across my forehead. I, I am sorry. I mean, are I you, didn't. Are you what? Like, are you? I. Yeah, there's honestly, at this point, there's really like, I'm shaking. Like, you're so lucky that this confrontation is through Zoom right now. Like, honestly, I don't have any final words. He said what he said, and there's really nothing, like, there's really nothing else. Travis, Rachel, I still respect you, but this is what I'm, this is what I'm left to deal with, so I'm over it. I, I just can't, I, I really cannot. <gasps> That's never happened before. I lost a friend, I lost a friend, I lost my mind. I knew she was gonna snap. I think it's also coupled with the fact that you you made it seem like it was her fault. You're probably right. I, I agree that that was probably not a, a cool move on my part to do that. 
Yeah, I, I completely regret the conversation that I had with her. You know, I was hard on her. I'm sorry about that. I just really did want to come clean at first. I just kind of got cold feet. But you couldn't have just broken it off with her and been honest up front. She was, she was really hot and I liked hooking up with her. Wow. But you literally carried it on for an entire year. I'll just say that I didn't have the best intentions going into the relationship, if that makes sense. I get why she left the meeting because it just stings that much deeper. Like her friend, not just her boyfriend, her friend did this to her. I really, I mean, I know I don't seem like a good person right now. I think I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I think I'm losing it. I think I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I think I'm losing it. And you know what? She's right. Well, I think that's that. All right, bye, James. Wow. I feel really bad for her because I can tell that she's hurting. You know, I, I mean, the one thing I am grateful for is that you were able to get it out of him and he, and he really did tell her the truth because if we would have walked away with this and, you know, maybe she did rekindle their friendship and he never let that out, it, that, I don't know what we would have done. All we want is for people to tell the truth, right? And to give our haunted some closure. Um, and I think she definitely, definitely got that today. I hope it makes her stronger, and I hope that she knows that she deserves so much better. Yes, for sure. I feel for like sure. I gotta go get a glass of wine and calm down before Brian comes home. He's gonna be like, why are you so fired up?